What's up, Saturday Nation? Ah, Sam Crowley here with the Morning Cup of Joe. Hope you're having an amazing start to your day. I want to talk to you about point A to point B. Point A to point B. Uh, it's a simple concept. I think a lot of people complicate it. Um, I don't know, you know, when you're talking about building an online movement and you're talking about getting your message out there, and even in a broader sense, living a life of significance, a lot of people make it complicated. They take all of these different paths, you know, to get there. And do you mind if I sip my coffee while I have a little chat with you? I hope you don't mind that. It's very important for me if I just spilled, feels like a gallon of it, not a bunch of coffee paper. It'll dry up, I guess. Uh, getting people from point A to point B, um, when you get in your car and do you have that navigation system, I use Apple Maps on my phone. Um, and I just type in the address and it gives me the fastest route, gives me alternate routes, but I typically, probably a lot like you, I choose the fastest route, but it doesn't matter. Either one, they're like two minutes apart if you're going locally. If instead of getting there in 17 minutes, you might get there in 19 minutes. When you, uh, when you decide to do something online or offline, you want to become a speaker, trainer, seminar leader, something like that, maybe you want to sell some products, man, we take a really long way to get there. Wouldn't you agree? Like we'll go buy somebody's course and then we'll try it a little bit. Really won't work the way we wanted it to work. Maybe the sales page promised just a little too much or maybe we just didn't have enough time to do it. And then uh, we'll go buy somebody else's course and we'll say, well, that method didn't work, but I'll try this one. And you know what, maybe, maybe I'll mix the two methods together and I'll take a little bit of this and I'll dip it in with a little bit of that and I'll try to get it to work that way and it never works, and it takes way longer to get there. And then you'll put that course aside, and you'll buy another course, and you'll take maybe some from the first, a little bit from the second, a little bit from the third. Maybe if you're an online marketer, for example, maybe you'll still keep your ClickFunnels account, but you might maybe mesh it with Infusionsoft, or you'll try it with a little bit of um, SamCard or Kajabi, and you try and mix them all. Well, if you just stayed in one place and you got from point A to point B, that's what your clients want. Like, they don't want somebody confused who's trying to lead them. Like, if you don't know what your message is, then your audience is going to be confused. Like, if you don't know the problem that you solve, if you don't know the result that you bring to people, if you don't know the answer to that question, well, then your audience is going to be really super confused as well, you know? And a lot of those people that I mentioned, just software developers, for example, they know exactly what they do. Do you think, for example, Russell Brunson, who runs ClickFunnels, do you think he's confused as to what the result is and what the value that he brings his clients? I don't think so. I don't think so. Um, I don't think individuals like uh, maybe one of the titans in this industry, Tony Robbins, do you think he's confused as to the result that he brings to his clients? You know, and you think, oh, well, those are really big. Well, they had to start somewhere. You know, they had to start 30. Maybe Tony started 40 years ago. Russell maybe started 10 or 15 years ago. They had to start somewhere with absolutely nothing, no message, no idea what they were going to do before they ever became wealthy, you know, and what they really gained clarity on, and I think they would agree with me on this, they gained a lot of clarity on what is point A for my client right now? Where are they right now? Why can't they get to point B? What do they need? And so if you got point A here and you got point B here, what is it? What's missing? Why can't they get from this place to this place? And they're banging their head against the wall all the time. And maybe that's you. You know, I haven't even mentioned. We're four minutes in. I haven't even given the link. Uh, launchwithsam.com. Go ahead and set up your call. And I'll get you from point A to point B. That is what I do. You know, get people unstuck, create momentum, get identify where they are at point A. Bring out their zone of genius. Like this thing that you really know how to do. Now, whether you believe you know how to do it, that doesn't matter to me. I believe you know how to do it. There's something that everybody innately has inside of them. Everybody has a zone of genius. And once you believe that, the rest of the process becomes pretty, pretty easy because then it just becomes like this, um, this whole um, self-fulfilling prophecy where you've got the vision that you can see this thing happening, you're gonna take action, you're gonna get some results, and then you're gonna believe it can happen. It doesn't matter if it, I'm not talking about earning a million dollars. Before you can earn a million dollars, you gotta learn how to earn one dollar. 
And I'm talking about doing what it is that you love to do. In the meantime, you might have to dig a ditch or wait tables or, you know, work at a box store. I don't know. That doesn't matter because that's only short term. It's not long term. We've all had to play that game. You know, we've all had to do something to keep the lights on that we may not have loved to do, but we earn money while uh, we were identifying what our zone of genius is and what our real passion is in life, what we really love to do. And I don't think that's a pipe dream. I don't think that's something where, you know, um, it's an either or proposition. I think everybody, everybody can do what they love to do, but they just don't believe enough in themselves and that there's a market out there that would pay them to do what they really love to do. It almost feels, I think we've been trained a lot, especially in the workforce, we've been trained a lot to do things we don't like to do. You know, come in on the weekends, work overtime, all of that stuff. You know what I mean? And we feel guilty when we make a lot of money and we're loving what we do. At least some people do, not a lot of people. But there's some guilt in that because we have this employee mindset that, well, we need to be here at our desk. Whether we're working or not, we need to be sitting at a desk. That's crazy talk, man. That's cubicle hell, all right? That's the cubicle cemetery where everybody is dying. You know, you bring these vibrant, energetic people in on their first day of work and you sit them in a cubicle and it just robs them of their zone of genius. And nobody likes to do data entry at a computer. Nobody. Nobody likes to sit in a cubicle all day. Nobody. Nobody likes to even sit in a nice office looking out the window. If you're wondering where I'm looking, there's a window right there. Like a fish in a fishbowl, wondering, I wonder what's going on on the outside. I wonder what my kids are doing. Is my wife out having a good time? Maybe, you know, she's at the park with my kids and or maybe, you know, the wife is there and she's worried about her kids at daycare. And it's always like, well... I got to be here. No, you don't. No, you really don't. You, you absolutely do not need to be there. You don't need to be there. You need to be doing what it is that you truly love to do. And that's not a pipe dream. I don't believe it's a pipe dream at all. I've been doing it 15 years. I know it's not a pipe dream. Now, there's a lot of work involved, certainly at the beginning. You know, it's like uh, you hear the old adage about the space shuttle. You know, 90% of the fuel that's used in a space shuttle is when it takes off. When you launch, uh, there's work involved, but man, when you're doing what it is that like this super thing, you have real, a lot of passion around it because you know, you're helping people who are just like you back when you were stuck or when you needed this solution, then it becomes super simple. You just got to identify what that point a is, where your client is and where do they want to get to and get them there. It's not any more complicated than that. Now we make it complicated because like I said, we'll take all these different components of all these different pieces of software or products or services and we'll try to mesh them all together thinking well this is what i need to do me i heard i read somebody told me i got to write an ebook well why would you want to write an ebook you like writing ebooks i don't i don't like writing ebooks so guess what i don't write ebooks you know do you do you like sitting around editing video all day long i don't that's why all the videos i do are live with a bad haircut sitting here looking like i'm it's a hostage video it's kind of my vibe. I like it. I enjoy it. I do it on my phone as well. You can just fire this thing up for 10 minutes every day. You don't need to do a lot of editing unless you like doing editing. You know what I like to do? I like audios. I like to record audios. I love audios. I get this guy here. By the way, speaking of launch, go to launchwithsam.com. I want to get on the phone. I want to help you get this thing going. I don't want you sitting around another day exasperated, wondering, what in the hell am I doing? Is this what life's about? This is what it's come down to right here. This is it, right? I just take this little guy right here, this little, it's a Shure MV88, plug it into the end of my smartphone right here. Phone's charging, so I can't show you, but boop, right there. Better sound quality than any studio. And guys, I've had podcasting studios for 15 years. This is better than any quality of any studio I've ever had. Do it for my car every day just to prove how easy it is. It's because of people like, oh, you get 15 million downloads, you must have a big studio. No, I don't. I got a big heart, got a big message that I want to share with a big audience. Point A to point B, made it real simple. I wanted to get an audio out. That's all. I don't want to write an ebook, and I don't want to do any video editing. I want to just get audios out. That's what I like to do. What do you like to do? How are you going to remove the resistance from making that happen? For me, it was this. This gets me going every day. Just got to go to my car on the road, wherever I'm at record a podcast. I record a podcast separate from this video. You know, a lot of people would be like, why don't you just strip the audio from this? You know, you got this microphone right here. Why don't you just strip the audio from this guy? And nah, I don't want to. I like to talk. I like to create a message. 
I was held back so many times, stifled. No, oh, you can't talk. You can't talk today. Today's not your day to train. Today's not your day to talk. Out of here. I'll talk every day of my life if I want to. That's what it means to be free. You got to be free and stop thinking in small limiting beliefs, okay? Stop thinking that this is just reserved for, you know, these uber successful wealthy people. It's not. It's reserved for you if you're willing to go get it. So go get it. Figure out what your point A is and what your point B is and what's preventing you from getting there, you know? I want to help you do that. Go to launchwithsam.com. Let's get on a call. I'll share all my best stuff with you. We'll work together and we'll get this thing from here and your heart out the door. All right. You ready to rock and roll? Have an amazing day. All right. By the way, I'm going to be speaking in LA this weekend, the 23rd of March, I believe, is Saturday. And so if you're going to be in LA, anywhere around there, go to everydayasaturday.com forward slash LA event. You can come out there. We're filming a product out there all day. Come out there, be part of the film. And I uh, would love to see you. If not, I'll see you back here tomorrow. All right. Be sure to check out the podcast on iTunes every day is Saturday, wherever you get your podcast. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon.